the temple grounds of the Provo Temple. Here with me is Dio who is asleep right now. It will take us at least 55 minutes to get there. So I am excited because it's been a long time since I've been there, since I visited that place. Since we're going there in the middle of the day, the roads are not very busy, which is good. Most people are still at work right now. Look how clear the skies are. This is a perfect time to drive around. temple so you can see it straight ahead right there it's been a while since I uh, visited this place so look how beautiful it is here Everything from trees to the flowers, the mountains. Okay, their lawn is well manicured. Let's cross the street now. Okay, it says Provo Temple, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. The Provo Temple was the sixth temple built in Utah and the first built in Utah County. The design of the temple was inspired by a scripture in Exodus chapter 13, verse 21, which describes the Lord going before the children of Israel, by day as a cloud and by night as a pillar of fire. Okay, I think the last time I was here was three years ago in this area. So it's been a while. So vlogging gives me an excuse. To go places that I have visited in the past just so I could document it okay I'm glad they are allowing dogs here now we're here on the grounds of the Provo temple so in front of us you will see the water fountain and just flowers look at all these beautiful flowers all over the temple 
as usual. Okay, now we're going to walk around where there's a shade. So right here, guys, if you see, this is not a very new building from the outside, but inside it, it's new and then the spire. So you see, as usual, we have Angel Moroni on the very top of the spire. Now, Provo Temple was announced in August of 1967 and the groundbreaking was done in September 1969. And then it was dedicated by um, Joseph Fielding Smith and the dedicatory prayer was read by Harold Billy. So interesting. Let's move over there. Let's move closer. So right now it's 3.30 p.m. And it's really hot outside. The temperature or the weather is opposite than it was yesterday when I was at the grounds of the Ochre Mountain Temple and the Jordan River Temple. But let's keep walking. Um, here in this temple, there are 12 ceiling rooms. Come here. Let's look at the inscription. So in every temple that we have visited, you probably noticed that the inscriptions are the same that says holiness to the Lord and then the house of the Lord okay guys the height of this temple is 175 feet and then it's preceded by um, Ogden temple and then followed by Washington DC temple okay as you can see guys the temple is 175 feet long and outside of it you will see white stones and the spire is painted okay and then you have bronze um, panels and then the grills are aluminum so let's keep walking around if you notice I see people who are doing sessions already inside so that means that they're open here already whereas um, in Jordan River and um, Ochre Mountain temples you do you only do the sessions by appointment but here I could see that people are um, in and out already. So let's look at those flowers as usual. Can you imagine the temple was built way before I was even born? <laughs> it was in the 1960s. Yes, 1969 when they announced the building of this. No, 1967 actually. And 1969 was when they did the groundbreaking. And then the dedication was in 1971. Okay. Can you imagine the temple was announced in the 60s, way before I was even born, and some of you guys. And then it was dedicated in 1972. Okay, that is an interesting fact, which means that this temple is already old. <laughs> Okay, let's keep walking. The extensive temple grounds are decorated with numerous flowers, shrubs, and trees. The campus of church-owned Brigham Young University, or BYU, borders the temple to the southwest. Did you know that there's another temple here in Provo? It is the Provo City Center Temple. I will take you guys there in another vlog. So MLB, MLB Fetzer, the architect for Ogden Temple and the Provo Temple, was asked to design something that is of reasonable cost, you know, a temple with reasonable cost, and he came up with this design. Hi guys, I am here on the grounds of the Provo Temple with Dio. Smile Dio. Smile for the camera. So I don't want to go near the door 
because I don't want him to make a mess there. We don't want to get in trouble. But we're just hanging out here. It's really hot. But we will eventually finish this vlogging. <laughs> he's really disruptive, guys. I could not focus when he's around me because he's very playful. But anyways... <laughs> Okay, let's peek through the door. I did I didn't know it's automatic. Okay. Holiness to the Lord. Say bye bye. There are kids admiring Dio right there. Woo. The good thing about LDS temples is that everyone is free to visit the temple grounds regardless of one's religious denomination. The open house is an opportunity for non-members to be able to go inside. He <laughs> wants to get down. Mm. Okay, should we go? Okay. So, ano han mo kami di Dio? Nakaupo. Kami Dio. Let's sit down first, my love. Sit, boy. Sit. Sit. No, no, no. Sit. Should we go? <laughs> now we're gonna roll over the grounds of the temple. <laughs> okay, ready to roll over? What? Okay. You will always feel the sense of calm and peace even if you are just hanging out on the grounds of the temple. Okay, guys. okay now guys we're going to the missionary training center. So these are all student housing there. Our student apartments for students who attend BYU or Brigham Young University. There's the Missionary Training Center. So you see different flags there on the ground. The Missionary Training Center is a home to thousands of young missionaries who reside year-round preparing for missionary service around the world. Let's just find a parking spot here. We won't be able to get in because it is highly restricted. So we'll be able to take a video from the outside. The flags on the grounds of the MTC represent the countries where the missionaries are going to serve to. Okay, we're just going to find yes, a parking spot here. And we're lucky to find one here under the shade of a tree. 
They stay at the MTZ to learn a new language, conduct, doctrine, and proselytizing method. It prepares these young people before sending them out in the real world. turtle and got myself some strawberry shake kiddie size and then some pastrami burger onion rings fish and chips so there you go we're just gonna pause here for a moment and eat our dinner at the park The Mount Tempanogos Temple is closer to um, the Provoyuta Temple. It is in the neighboring town, but the same county, Utah County. The Mount Tempanogos Temple is in Pleasant Grove, Utah. It is a neighboring town of Provo, Utah. They are in the same county, which is the Utah County. Okay guys, I'm standing here outside the gates of the Mount Timpanogos um, Temple. It's right there. Okay, let's look at the park outside. It's so pretty. Look at all these trees. Okay guys, we're entering the grounds of the Mount Timpanogos Temple. First, let's take a close look of this beautiful edifice. Let's talk about this. For a moment, okay. As you can see, as you can see, the temple is clad in Sierra white granite, and you have stained glass windows, and the doors are bronze. So let's go near.
blinding lights. Okay, I love the arches here. The facade is more open. It gives um, people some shade here. This reminds me of Manila Temple for some reason. All these arches. And then let's go over the, where the windows are. So they have glass stained windows here too. But I like the color of these glass windows. Okay, and there's a room here where people could just rest and maybe meditate or just relax This one, let's look at the plants here. This caught my attention, guys. This must belong to the family of Taro. Uh, Taro or Gabi. Gabi leaves. Family. Okay. Also, the arches reminds me of Roman architecture. Okay, let's go over there. Okay, do a tour. Okay, we are on the north side of the building. Look how gorgeous it is. So here is the ground of the Mount Timpanogos Temple. On this side, north side, you are going to see just trees. Okay, there are no flowers here. While over there, on that side, on the east side, the main entrance, you are going to see flower gardens. Okay, and they have really um, varieties of plants here. They are so pretty yellow colors of flowers, they're my favorite. Here is the main entrance. Okay. So, this temple 
was announced back in 1992 of October and then the groundbreaking was done in October of 1993 and then it was dedicated by President Gordon B. Hinckley in 1996 of October also. This one has a really nice layout. Okay, let's go to um, see the glass stained windows. They are really colorful. Colorful glass stained windows. Let's take a close look. Right there, guys. Okay, and the doors are made up of bronze. So this temple has bronze doors. And look at the ceiling. Very nice. And the walls, these are um, white Sierra granite. I love feeling the walls of the temple. Feeling the texture of each material. So, do you guys come by appointments here? Did you buy appointments? Buy appointments. Yeah. Okay. okay That's cool. right. Thank you. It's closed it's for closed. a month. Yeah, yeah. Closed for clean. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's closed right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we are on the east side of the temple. We are standing here on the east side of the building. Gardens here. Wow. This is really, really spacious. Okay, this temple has a huge ground. Look at all those trees. So, both sides the south and the north. Both have trees planted on them. And at the center, on the east, you have all these flower gardens here. You have the same inscription there that says, Holiness to the Lord. They all have this. The house of the Lord. So those people behind me are here to clean the inside of the temple okay it's really nice here guys I could stay here all day long and just hang out here maybe read under the shade of the tree Okay, so um, I have noticed that when I went to the Provo Temple, it was already open. People were in and out of the temple, and I don't think they do it by appointments anymore. But here, it's still very quiet, and it looks empty here, except for those people who were going to clean. So yeah, I guess you come here by appointments also. Okay guys, um, I've attended a wedding here before. i only been here once. So yeah, hopefully once they are back to their normal schedule, I will be able to attend the session here, the endowment session. Yes, so cool. I love Mount Timpanogos Temple. Thank you guys for watching my vlog today. 
please remember to click like and subscribe to the link below and also click the notification bell for video updates and also remember bawal ang malasado bye for now stay safe out there bye say bye bye blue a kiss blue a kiss Wow!